Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. You know, before, uh, I got a, a late start posting my videos today and I was looking on Twitter and there was a, um, somebody had said something about where's the Digital Asset Investor? Um, he hasn't posted any videos today. And then another guy had come in and he had said something to the effect of, geez, man, I really like your persistence, but give it a break every now and then. Well, this one's for you. I don't know if you're a young man or an older man, but this one's for you. Um, you maybe you haven't been listening to me for too long and don't truly understand uh, where I'm coming from. What you're looking at here is my, fr my favorite quote ever. Um, when I was a kid, my father made me memorize this um, quote, and it's from Calvin Coolidge. Nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccess, unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. The slogan press on has solved and always will solve the problems of the human race. So just so you know who I am, I'm the digital asset investor. I don't pretend to be the smartest guy online. I don't pretend to uh, to be the most educated guy on, online uh, that talks about digital ass assets. I don't pretend to have the most followers. I don't pretend to be smarter than all of the other people that talk about XRP or or this or that. But there's one thing that I that I do know. Uh, I know how to read. Um, I do have a pretty good education. I have a lot of experience. I'm 44 years old, but more important than any of those things. Um, and I also have kids who are watching their father and they're, they're listening and they're paying attention to what I'm doing or not doing. And so if I can teach these children anything in my life, I'm going to teach them to never, ever give up. And so to, to, uh, you would not believe on this channel, the things that are, that are, uh, said it, negative things that I, I completely don't pay any attention to. I'm told sometimes your videos are too long. Your videos are too short. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Um, that's a clickbait title. That's not a clickbait title. Why you shouldn't talk about this. You, you shouldn't talk about this. You shouldn't make price predictions. You shouldn't do this. You should do this. If, if I, it, it would be literally impossible to solve, um, to, to satisfy every little thing. But the one thing that I can do and the one thing that I will do, uh, since, since we've been in this bear market, I've seen people come, I've seen people go. Um, there are two things that I can promise you that you will get on this channel. The first one is that you, I will be here. I'm not going anywhere. You couldn't drag me kicking and screaming away from digital assets because I know that it's about to change the world and more specifically XRP is about to change the world. And the other thing you will not get here is negativity. If you want negativity, then you're at the wrong stop, my friend. And so um, I, what I've learned about people, especially on Twitter, is that is that there are people who, and I don't, it's, I guess it has to do with their life experience, but there are people who will find the negative in anything. That is not I. You will not hear negative when you listen to me because negative uh, is, there is nothing productive in your life that comes out of negative. Nothing. What you will get here is persistence, consistency, and determination to see this thing through it, through because I've, I'm here, I'm in it to win it, as I've told you many a time. And so I don't give up, I don't give in, and I will continue to do exactly what I'm doing because I believe in it. And I know what's about to happen in this world. And so um, <laughs> you got more than you bargained for for one Twitter comment, I guess. Okay, moving along. 
Ripple's X-Rapid-powered coins.ph to integrate with Union Bank of the Philippines to launch crypto ATM. This is adoption, folks. Union Bank of the Philippines has announced its plan to launch cryptocurrency automated teller machines wherein users can trade the digital assets for Philippine pesos. To execute the launch, the bank will partner with X Rapid Powered eWallet and financial services firm Coins.ph. Uh, the chairman of Union Bank about the deployment of digital uh, currency ATM stated, we're going to put a Bitcoin ATM in your Ayala Ave Arc branch. The machine is here already. Folks, just imagine that you're, you're sitting there holding your XRP and over the course of the next months and years, people are going to be going to ATMs in your grocery store around the world and buying XRP. <laughs> and, and you are literally here at the party that early. It's exciting, folks. All right, moving along to, this is from Leonidas, definite XRP community follow, at L-E-O-H-A-D-J-I-L-O-I-Z-O-U. Blocks cart, P2P marketplace adds XRP as a method of payment. Um, and th this is in reference to this article. Now, this is uh, Leonidas' website, xrprk.com. Blocks cart is a global P2P marketplace platform where users can buy and sell products or services using cryptocurrencies. Bloxcart Limited is based in the UK with an office in India and their platform is going live in March. On February 5th, Bloxcart announced the addition of XRP as a payment method on Twitter. Nice. That's exciting, folks. More adoption. Okay, next. Uh, this is Tony Stark XRP. It looks like... I don't follow Tony Stark. I guess I'll follow him. Okay. He is showing you, he, he did a video of the Cool Wallet. Now, the, the Cool Wallet, as I recall, Cool X Wallet, this was a company that was bought by SBI a while back. That's how I remember it. Well, two things here. Um, from what I can tell, they are issuing these. I don't know if they're issuing them when you open an account with SBI or if you buy one just buy the wallet from SBI in conjunction with opening your account. I don't know how they're doing it, but what I'm, what I'm looking into right now, I don't know if these are available in the United States. I don't know where these are available. And so I'm looking into this right now to see what the availability availability of these cool wallets is and where you can get them and that type of thing. Um, I wouldn't mind ordering one myself. Um, this, this was crazy. This is like, I, I wondered if the guy was was uh, under the influence or something when he wrote this. This is a, a popular Bitcoin guy, Tone Vase. This guy's got 181,000 uh, listeners. Since Ripple is a shittier version of PayPal, it's terrible how much energy it burns as it, des as it destroy your environment with a useless token. I mean, it's not even correct grammar. Bitcoin equals innovative analogy. BTC is like a car burning energy, but innovation over horse. XRP is like a horse saddle with a spike up your blank. And he's retweeting Hoder's tweet, which showed how much energy that Bitcoin burns versus XRP. Nothing in this thing even makes any sense. I'm, I'm really kind of baffled by this. But I did have to reply to the guy. Let's see if my reply is somewhere in here. There's a lot of XRP replies. This is my reply. Innovative, he says. <laughs> Hilarious. XRP, I, I, I gave him a snapshot of XRP versus BTC. Who's innovative? <laughs> That's just, but that, this is a bizarre, bizarre tweet. I don't get it. I'm confused. Okay, next, I wanted to show you this um, and hope that I can get my... Um, yes. Okay. My slow computer. Everybody's been making fun of me about my slow computer. And yes, it is kind of funny. Believe it or not, it's kind of been a funny signature of mine to, um, have a, have a computer that's kind of slow and have a, com a microphone that everybody makes fun of. But I do promise you, um, in order to change the microphone thing, I would either have to go to another room or I would have to completely change the room that I'm in, and I just haven't been willing to do it. 
but I promise that in the future I am going to I'm gonna I'm I'm probably gonna turn a room into a studio or, or either I'm gonna move I haven't decided yet. Anyway, this is from XRP Dave at the Davy ninety two. Digital asset investor, if this isn't a Ponzi scheme, I don't know what is. I mean, this is such a joke, folks. And I'm going to read you a couple of things just to. Now, when I when I read this, this is from the IMF blog, cashing in how to make negative interest rates work. Now, folks, when you hear central banks or the IMF or any of these people talking about negative interest rates, all they're talking about is how they have put the world into a corner with l these zero interest rates, the debt, all the money printing, all the ridiculously irresponsible economics that they have tried to justify over the years when they've really created a, an, a complete nightmare and it's gotten worse since the financial crisis. And now they know that they have firmly put themselves in a corner. And so now they're trying, that's what this article is about is hmm how could we uh, you know now that we now that in order to prevent another financial crisis now that we we can't, aren't even in a position that you can't go any lower than zero interest rate now we got to figure out figure out how we could pull off something even more absurd which would be negative interest rates in other words you're paying the banks for the privilege to have a bank account <laughs> it's, this is this is pure folks this is pure insanity right here. But don't forget, as I've told you before, when, when the world let these people get away with the bailouts, when, that, when they let them get away with that, that opened Pandora's box. These people found out then that they can steal from the public. What they found out, they couldn't believe it, but they found out if they declared enough of an emergency, they could get away with anything. They could steal their citizens' money. They could get away with anything. If they, could, if they just declared enough of an emergency, the world's coming to an end tomorrow, and because of this emergency, it's your patriotic duty. Well, here's negative interest rates. I bring you negative interest rates. Now, what I, what I want you to think about while I read about what the, the sick thoughts that these people are having, these twisted thoughts about how negative interest rates are doable, I want you to I want you to be thinking what if I had well what if they declared such a crazy thing and I had my money in digital assets on my Ledger Nano S while this craziness is going on think about what a great position you would be in while this nut stuff is going on here's what it says Many central banks reduced policy interest rates to zero during the global financial crisis to boost growth. Ten years later, interest rates remain low in most countries. While the global economy has been recovering, yeah, right, future downturns are inevitable. Severe recessions have historically required 3 to 6% points cut in policy rates. If another crisis happens, Few countries would have that kind of room for monetary policy to respond. To get around this problem, a recent IMF staff study shows how central banks can set up a system that would make deeply negative interest rates a feasible option. In a cashless world, there would be no lower bound on interest rates. A central bank could reduce the policy rate from, say, 2% to minus 4% to counter a severe recession. The interest rate cut would transmit to bank deposits, loans, and bonds. Without cash, depositors would have to pay the negative interest rate to keep their money with the bank, making consumption <coughs> and investment more attractive. This would jolt lending, boost demand, and stimulate the economy. Now folks, what I just read for you, that is just straight sick what these people, the, the things that these people have been able to get away with and the things they plan to get away with are disgusting and they ought to be ashamed of themselves, but they're not ashamed of themselves. I give you digital assets, folks. Trust, I mean, I, di digital assets are the answer to, to, it is the checkmate to the central bank system, period. 
Um, this is from Sergeant Obi Wan at SGT Obi Wan. Um, he's one of our Star Wars XRP guys. Got crypto 5.5 million in Bitcoin XRP and Ethereum buys majestic venue in Canada with bar and restaurant. Um, and this is an article. This is interesting, uh, but it, it shows you further um, how adoption is going to happen. Um, but this is an article from, I believe it's from the Daily Hodel. Yes. Um, and it says the historic Stone Jug restaurant located in Carboneer, Canada is up for sale. The owner is accepting the three leading cryptocurrencies by market cap, which includes XRP. Um, priced at $5.5 million, the venue is home to a well-established bar and restaurant and a third story theater and conference room. Now, I, I thought this place looked pretty cool, so I wanted to show it to you. Looks like a fun place to have a beer. Um, you got a view of the uh, ocean or lake right there, but it looks like a really nice, nice place. But this is so interesting that people are now selling major real estate like that and will accept XRP and Bitcoin and things like that. Um, okay, moving along. Um, this is from uh, X Philosopher. I saw this and decided I'd give him a shout out and help him along. Uh, in Japan, we have Crypto Adri. I think that's how you say that. Um, and she's really good. She's a YouTuber. If you don't, if you don't listen to her, you should go subscribe to her. Crypto Ari. That's E R I. Um, trying to connect with as uh, with as much XRP supporters and investors as possible. My main objective is to deliver XRP related news and insight from Japan. Land of SBI, one of the main catalysts of X, XRP adoption. A retweet and follow will be greatly appreciated. Thank you in advance. And so I'm going to give him a retweet and um, see if we can help set this guy off. We need more people in Japan. I like this idea. So people that can translate what's going on over there. And finally, I wanted to show you this tweet from C3 Nick because this is the world you're entering, folks. When stocks are tokenized, I may be able, be able to buy my Starbucks Frappuccino um, with fractions of Starbucks stock. How amazing is that? And that's kind of, um, and he says, no nutrition advice. Um, that's, that's the world we're entering, folks, if you can imagine walking in with your phone. And let's say that you owned, um, let's say you had, well, let's use his example. You had star, a couple of shares of Starbucks stock. And you walk in and all of your all your assets are completely liquid and on your phone. And you can move freely from any of them and come out in whatever Starbucks is accepting. So imagine that um, imagine that, that is the world that you live in. Well, that's where we're going. And you, you can take actually go liquid in a liquid fashion from, from the Starbucks stock and go into whatever Starbucks accepts. Maybe they accept Bitcoin. But you'll be able to move like that. That's the world's about to change, folks. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that a fraction of a Starbucks share could buy you coffee down the road or any other share for that matter. Thank you for listening.